What is reverse engineering and what are its applications? Hello engineering enthusiasts. Have you ever stopped to think about how an innovative product is created or how a company manages to replicate a technology without having access to the original designs? The answer might lie in a powerful but rarely discussed technique, reverse engineering. Sounds like something from a spy movie, right? That scene where an agent takes apart a mysterious device to uncover its secrets. But in reality, reverse engineering goes way beyond that. It is an essential tool in areas such as software development, manufacturing, security, cybernetics, and even medicine. But after all, what is reverse engineering? Simply put, it's the process of analyzing an object, system, or software to understand how it is built and how it works. And this, without the original documentation, it's like taking apart a puzzle that's already assembled to find out how each piece fits together for example, imagine that a company wants to create an electronic component compatible with a competitor's product. Instead of starting from scratch, they can use reverse engineering to study the existing component, identify its materials, circuits, and functions, and then reproduce or improve it. But how did this idea of taking things apart to understand them come about? Well, reverse engineering is not new, and its roots go back to periods of conflict and technological competition. During World War II, for example, countries would capture enemy equipment such as tanks, airplanes or radars and take them apart to copy or neutralize their technology. A notable case was the American B-29 Superfortress airplane, which was captured by the Soviet Union in 1944. The Soviets not only replicated the aircraft piece by piece, but also launched their own version, the Tupolev to 4 Tupolev. Reverse engineering was not limited to war. In the 1980s, international business machines used the technique to understand the basic input-output system of PCs at the time, leading to the emergence of clones compatible with their systems. This democratized access to computers and drove the digital revolution. But how does reverse engineering work? The process varies depending on the object of study, but generally involves three steps. Disassembly or decompilation, functional analysis and documentation, and reconstruction. Whether it's a smartphone, software, or a mechanical part, the first step is to take it apart. In the case of hardware, this might mean opening the device and mapping its components. For software, tools are used to convert the binary code into a readable language. Then, we move on to the functional analysis, and here we try to understand how each part operates and relates to the others. In an engine, for example, we identify how energy is transmitted, and in an application, we analyze how data is processed. With the information collected, a model or diagram is created to explain how the system works. This document can be used to replicate the product, fix flaws, or develop improved versions. What are the applications of reverse engineering? In practice, reverse engineering is an indispensable tool in various engineering fields, driving innovation and efficiency in mechanical engineering and manufacturing. Some companies disassemble machines or industrial components to understand how they work, reproduce obsolete parts like gears from old equipment, or optimize designs. For example, by analyzing a combustion engine, it is possible to identify friction points and redesign parts to increase its energy efficiency. Developers decompile code from IoT devices or operating systems to ensure compatibility between platforms or to fix vulnerabilities. In the automotive industry, reverse engineering is used to integrate third-party systems into vehicles, such as autonomous braking modules. A good example is car multimedia systems, where original units are locked to work only in their intended vehicle. But usually, not long after, some other manufacturer ends up cracking the code. So you can replace it without losing the car's original functions and systems. That's reverse engineering. Aircraft or rocket components are analyzed after failures to identify the causes of accidents. 
In addition, technological rivals study turbine designs or composite materials to develop lighter and stronger alternatives. But not only with new items, but also with antiques. Historical structures, such as mounds, hills, or old buildings, are laser scanned to create 3D models. This allows us to assess their integrity, plan restorations, or simulate. Behaviors under stress, like earthquakes, without risking physical damage. Printed circuits of devices are mapped to replicate functionalities or diagnose failures. Cell phone companies, for example, use reverse engineering to create universal chargers compatible with different models. Who here had an iPhone and used a third-party cable from the market that didn't work even though it had the same plug? That's because it wasn't just the connector that had to be replicated, but also the recognition systems of the original cable. By studying the composition of metal alloys or polymers used in competing products, it's possible to develop similar or superior materials, reducing research costs. Industrial robotic systems are disassembled to understand their movement algorithms and adapt them to new production lines, increasing manufacturing flexibility. In all these areas, reverse engineering accelerates innovation by turning existing products into what we call blueprints for future solutions. Tools like 3D scanners, simulation software such as ANSYS or SOLIDWORKS, and even artificial intelligence are revolutionizing this process, allowing for faster and more accurate analyses. But what about ethics? How far can we go? Well, here's the dilemma. Is reverse engineering legal? Here, I say it depends. In many countries, it is allowed for interoperability purposes to ensure that different systems work together or for academic study. However, violating patents or copyrights is a crime, so doing reverse engineering could make you end up running into a patent. A famous case was Sony versus Kinectix in the 2000s. Kinectix used reverse engineering to emulate the PlayStation on computers, and Sony sued the company. The courts decided that the practice was legitimate as long as the code wasn't copied directly. In other words, the line is thin. You can study a product to create something new, but not to pirate it. With technologies like artificial intelligence and 3D printing reverse engineering has gained superpowers. Companies use 3D scanners to recreate complex parts in hours and algorithms automatically decompose software. In medicine, human organs are scanned and modeled for precise surgeries. In the aerospace industry, Rocket components are analyzed to increase their efficiency. But there are challenges. Advanced encryption systems in digital rights management or digital writing make it difficult to reverse engineer modern products. On the other hand, this also encourages innovation in analysis tools. But okay, why is reverse engineering so important? As incredible as it may seem, it's the engine of progress. By uncovering how something works, we can identify vulnerabilities in banking systems or update obsolete equipment. Smaller companies can create products compatible with market leaders, reducing monopolies. Old technologies like video games from the 90s are brought back by enthusiasts using reverse engineering, and engineering students learn hands-on by taking apart and rebuilding devices. But does this have a future? Reverse engineering remains crucial in emerging fields. In biotechnology, scientists hack cellular processes to develop genetic therapies. In quantum computing, knowing competing systems is key to staying ahead technologically. Furthermore, with the rise of IoT, the need for interoperable and secure systems will make reverse engineering an ally in data protection and responsible innovation. With reverse engineering, many times. It's not just about creating a new product with several advantages, but also knowing what your competitors are doing to gain an edge over them. If you've made it this far and enjoyed the video, take the opportunity to subscribe if you haven't already, leave your like, and turn on the notification bell. And if you find our content interesting, consider becoming a member to help us keep producing content here on the platform and also be mentioned in our videos. And if you're curious to learn more about the courses we recommend, scan the QR code here on the side or check the link in the video description. To have access to various opportunities to develop several skills that will make a difference in your career, 
Have you ever thought that taking things apart could be so useful? Have you used reverse engineering in a project? Comment below, I want to know. On this side, you'll find two great videos to watch and expand your knowledge. To support us, like subscribe, turn on notifications and consider joining as a member. Thanks engineering lovers. A big hug and I'll see you in the next video.